Hi! Today I will be showing how to use the rotate tool. The character here that I will be uh, rotating was created in the uh, Getting Started Pixel Lab tutorial. I will link it down in the description if you want to see how it was made. Uh, but let's get started. So first I'm gonna open the rotate tool. Um, then you want to have a character description that fits your character. Uh, select a view that is fitting for your character. In, in my case, side is most fitting. Low top down is between 30 and 45 degrees. High top down is between 45 and 60 degrees. And um, something that's good to note is if your character is not facing the south, you need to move them to east, north, or west, depending on which direction your character is facing. And you do this by creating an empty frame and generating from the frame before. So you can see here I'm now at the east position. Let's say you have a north um, character facing the north. You want them to be here. So all right. Some other things to note is if you go into the advanced options, you can increase the image guidance weight, which will increase the impact the uh, images you have how they look in on the generation. You also have the guidance weight for uh, all of these settings here, so which you can play around with. But yeah, let's uh, let's generate. Let's say your uh, first generation, or you get a generation that is semi decent. You want to then uh, clean up the image, and because um, we're going to use it as a init image, you want to kind of make it semi-decent. So this is usually a good way of just fixing it up slightly. You don't have to be super perfect because we're going to use this as an init image. So the most important thing is just that um, there's a like. It kind of looks like what you want it to look like in the future. Alright, then we're gonna in paint, and in this case, I think we can. Uh, remake the whole image. So I'm just gonna inpaint the whole image and uh, in the next steps we can uh, just inpaint, inpaint parts of the image that we want to keep so we don't uh, actually change everything. So we can keep the good stuff, uh, fix the bad stuff. So yeah. Let's go back here. We add init image. We want a pretty high init image. I have noticed when it comes to rotation model, it's pretty happy uh, with changing things. So if it's too low, it's just it's not gonna do what you want, quite likely. I also believe let's increase the image guidance weight a bit and let's uh, generate. And here we can see uh, before and after. Made the cloak a bit better. So here, instead of in painting the whole image. Now I just want to paint parts of it, which means that the model can't see uh, what's behind here because I'm not going to use an init image, so it's just going to use the previous frames to uh, guess what I want. Probably see if it wants to do something nice with the hair. Maybe try to fix that part. The feet. 
in this case I want to fix the fireball but also maybe the color because it's supposed to be white so let's see if the model wants to do that otherwise we might need to use an init image and help it a bit here we want a better fireball let's see if we can uh, do better on this uh, spot here let's not in paint too much because I kind of want the model to see like there is stuff I want there to be here let's now try without before and after pretty good another option is to just go in like this instead so we're gonna grab this fireball go over here uh, let's remove this add in this fireball instead then we can in-paint it so the model can uh, change it a bit so it doesn't look exactly the same in this case you can do it here as well <laughs> make sure that you're on the, the correct layer otherwise you will have to redo it like me a few times all right like that. Let's take a look at the in painting. Good. I'm thinking I want to use a init image again here. Just to see if it uh, if it looks better. All right. So we go back. Init image. Let's have it quite high. Let's let's fix the hair in the uh, next generation instead. And I probably want uh, a bit more. Mm. All right, let's generate. In this case, I think it's uh, quicker to just do it by hand. Here, oh nice. Does it feel like the... Uh, I don't think we should be seeing Ah, okay. So you can probably extend this like this. And then we can remove this. Because I don't think we can see into the arm really from this angle. Mm. There's actually a situation where I think the model can do, uh, do better than me, so I'm just going to do something like that. So now I want to fix the face. I think that's my top priority here. So let's go in here, fix it up a bit. Let's in paint this. 
the hair. Four hundred, maybe. All right, let's generate. Yeah, I will say this is an improvement, much better than what I can make. <laughs> And lastly, I think it's probably easier to fix these feet myself. I think we can do better if we just um, add in the description that we want to focus on the fireballs, I think it will be a bit, bit better. So a mage uh, holding a fireball. Let's increase the image guidance weight a bit. Uh, let's have a 300 in init image strength because I think I want to edit the uh, fireballs quite a bit. Maybe Let's try without, just let the model do whatever it wants. That is quite the aggressive fireball. Nice. I like it. Let's just take this one. I think this one <laughs> got a bit too big. So let's take this. And then for rotation, I recommend this doing going up here minus you have the uh, reversed. All right, let's do a quick spin. But yeah, thank you for watching and uh, good luck in your own creations.